Hello, I'm Peter Brown. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious soup. Delicious, very tasty, not expensive to make. Sweet potato, ginger and coconut. I have the ingredients here in front of me. I've peeled the vegetables. You need um, about 500 grams, 450, 500 grams of sweet potato. You need an onion, a leek. You need a piece of fresh ginger, a chili pepper. I'm using a small one today. Normally I quite like them and I would use a bigger one, but we don't want to make it too hot. And lemongrass, a stalk of lemongrass. Then you will also need coconut oil, coconut milk, some tomato puree or concentrated tomato, and a litre of stock, either vegetable stock or chicken stock. Now I make my own stock. I do it once a week. I make about two litres. It goes either in the fridge or in the freezer. You may not have any stock and you may have to use a stock cube. I try not to use stock cubes myself. But if you do use a stock cube, I'd use a vegetable one. You also need salt and freshly ground black pepper. You also need some fresh basil or parsley to chop up to scatter over the soup. Okay, we turn the oven on. To 200 C, which is 400 Fahrenheit, and you have a tin to cook the sweet potatoes, and you have a casserole, a cast iron casserole, to make the soup in. You're going to blend it, and I should blend it into that bowl. Okay, so let's begin. I've turned the oven on, I'm now going to chop up my vegetables. When I finish cutting these up, I'm going to put some coconut oil in the pan behind me, pop it in the oven, and when it's melted, put the sweet potato pieces in and toss them around so they're well coated, and cook them in the oven for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes to half an hour, until they're soft and tender. In the meantime, I will cut up the other vegetables. Now, here we are. Now this is coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil usually, especially, I mean, it, it may soften in the, in the summer months, but in the winter months it's usually solid like this. So I'm going to put a tablespoonful in there. Oven's already on. I've popped it in there. It'll melt in a second. Now, tricky little job here. I'm going to de seed the pepper. Put it in this little dish. And now I'm going to wash my hands because the last thing you want is to accidentally rub pepper in your eyes. Right, we've done that. Let's see if our coconut oil has melted. Yes, it has. So, in go the sweet potatoes. Get them stir around so they're coated with the oil. There they are. Right. And
pop them back in the oven and we'll look at them again in 20 minutes. Right, we go on now. Cut your lemongrass in half. One should grate the ginger, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to chop it up small. It's been known since the time of the ancients as being extremely good for you. Right, chopped ginger. I'm just putting it in a small pot for convenience because I need the chopping board. Right, onion. I'm cutting it up fairly finely. Try not to cut my fingers too. There are different types of onions. This happens to be a red one. I'm cutting up the leek now. And nearly there. We're going to cook all these together. So I'll tip those in now. I'm waiting for the potatoes to cook. You may have to have a gap. And, uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to start sweating these vegetables again. Spoonful coconut oil. Just melting that coconut oil. You don't have to use coconut oil, you can use olive oil. Okay, so now I tip in my vegetables. I've tipped them in and I'm going to let them sweat for a few minutes, you know, about four or five minutes. Stir it so they don't stick on the bottom. We'll come back to it in a minute when the, when the potatoes are done. Right, I think our sweet potatoes now will be tender. I'll test them in a minute. And if they are, I'm going to tip them into here and add the stock. The sweet potatoes have been in here about 20 minutes. I think they will be done. I'll test them. Right. Yes. Yes, I think they're done. I'm testing them with a knife and it goes in easily, right? So, here we go. Put them in the casserole. We're going to add the stock. To make vegetable stock, here are some quick instructions. For more thorough instructions, click the link on screen now. Chop up a load of carrots, onions, celery, any vegetables you have, root vegetables, and put them with four liters of water, I usually use, salt and pepper, herbs, and simmer them for two to three hours. Then Drain off the vegetables and throw them away, and keep the stock. Right, here we go with our stock. Give it a stir around. I think at this stage I'll put the pepper and salt in. According to your taste. Some people don't like to use too much salt. Good grinding of black pepper. Right, now we're going to leave that. We're going to let that cook not too long, about a quarter of an hour, and then I will add the coconut milk. In While I'm waiting, I'll just chop up this parsley. Basil will do. It's really mainly for garnishing anyway. 
there. That back in the pot. That will be ready for garnishing our soup. Simmering away nicely now. I've added the coconut milk. I'm going to add tomato concentrate now. If it were tomato puree, I'd use a tablespoon. But as it's double concentrated, I'm using about a teaspoon, which I've stirred in there. It's got to be blended. Good. All right. We'll give it 15 minutes from now. The soup is now cooked and I'm going to blend it in the blender. Hope I don't make a mess here. I think that's enough at a time. Put the lid on. Right. There. Good. Now, we've made a good lot of soup. Let's see how much we've made. We're going to freeze some in this container. And this jar for the fridge to serve us for next week. So, first of all, Right. Well. So what I have done, I've put the soup into a glass jar which I keep in the door of the fridge when it's cold, of course. And that will do several servings. It'll certainly do two servings this week. And I've done this container, put the lid on, and when that is cold, that goes in the freezer. So I would say you have at least four good servings there, and maybe, if it's a first course, six. But, as Rob and I are going to have this soup for our lunch, out of my jar here, I'm going to give us each a serving of three ladles. And now we just sprinkle on a little bit of basil or parsley. And there you go. Very nice. Sweetish, not too hot. Ginger comes through. Very comforting. Delicious. And cheap and nutritious. Now, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've enjoyed being with you. Thank you. Goodbye.